welcome to this video and uh, welcome to pretty much the first official video on my channel. Um, this video is going to explain a bit about my ITB kits. Um, I'm, I'm making and selling these ITB kits as well as some other performance parts for MX5. And basically since I uh, posted these on my web shop, I had a lot of questions about it like what comes with this kit, um, what is required separate from the kit, how do I install it, just basic questions, understandable but yeah it's not it's not that hard and in this video I'll just give a brief overview about uh, about this kit, what's inside, about how to install it, just a brief overview, I'm not really going to install it, I'm just going to show you how it's mounted on my car, um, the requirements, going to show you the requirements for this, for this ITB kit. Just a brief overview, like I said, nothing special, just to get things a bit more clear about about uh, about my kits. And there's one thing I really want to show in depth, and that's synchronizing the daughter bodies. That's basically what this video is going to be about. Because um, I think a lot of misconceptions about ITB kits are coming from that as well. Like bad idle, bad starting, stuff like that. And can really be ruled out by synchronizing them properly. So going to show you how that's done and uh, that it really can make a huge difference on ITB setups so it's quite important you just need the right tools and then it's not that hard it's pretty satisfying actually and uh, yeah, definitely worth it so uh, so yeah let's take a look at these throttle body kits and see what's inside the kit so these are both the 1.6 and the 1.8 kit and this is basically all you will need for ITB setup on your Mazda MX-5 and this is basically basically all you will need for the mechanical part so these are the throttle bodies this complete part will, will be mounted on your engine instead of your intake manifold so your complete intake manifold with your plastic plastic tubing and all the intake piping Will be uh, will be gone and will be replaced by this. Um, and like I said, it's basically all you will need for the mechanical part. So that's not including the ECU. So you will. Well, it's it's advised to use a standalone ECU. You won't won't necessarily need it. You can kind of tune the stand uh, the standard ECU, but I, I don't advise it. It's possible there are people that do it, but it's just not the best way to do it. So you will need a standalone to control all this, but for the rest, this is basically all you will need. So you, this will be, uh, will be bolted up to your to your cylinder head. Um, for the 1.6s, you get this bracket together with a few bolts. Uh, that's to mount your fuel fuel rail to the to the head. So um, so it will come with a manual to show you how it's installed. But I, I will show you later on my. Uh, on my car how it's mounted but it's basically pretty simple it's just because your standard intake manifold has these brackets over here where your fuel reel mounts to but these are not not there anymore since you're using this adapter so that's why you mount your fuel reel to the to the head to the cylinder head so this is the 1.6 adapter the adapter injectors go in here nine bolts same pattern like standard pretty simple TPS already mounted actually one thing I forgot but you get the connected the connector does come with the kit so you won't need to modify your plug or whatever you can just yeah you can just put this plug on your original wiring and then you're good to go uh, intake gasket yeah like I said few bolts for the for the adapter itself and the rest is for the fuel rail so that's the 1.6 kit, pretty basic. The only thing that's not included in the kit is a vacuum block, which might be pretty useful for your setup. Most of the time you will need it. Um, it's just nicer for your brake booster. You won't really need a map signal, but um, because you're gonna tune on TPS, on the TPS based uh, fueling but you will need you probably will need these fittings which are sold separate on the website and just simply screw them in on the bottom 
um, and this way you can connect this way you can connect the four runners to the vacuum block four lines this line can go to the brake booster and like this you have a pretty simple setup for vacuum to your braking uh, to your brake booster so that's it for the brake booster and it's also a nice way to uh, connect your fuel pressure regulator and actually I like to use these fittings that's what I use in my car I will show you later but it's like a quick connect uh, fitting for Festo lines it's called Festo so I like them a lot but it's just uh, being extra you don't need it so that's it for the 1.6 kit pretty simple and of course it comes with the uh, sock filters which just slide over pretty pretty clean looking and uh, it's definitely definitely gonna save your engine from uh, from dirt going in as well so that's it for the 1.6 kit and then the 1.8 kit come with a gasket as well there's the kit with the adapter same idea different different adapter uh, also comes with the filters also comes with the TPS connector and the fuel rail bracket is not necessary because as you can see the injectors are not placed in the adapter but in the head so it's actually making things a lot easier so as you can see you got the space here where the injectors go but it can just stay in the head it can just stay in the head like it uh, like it already was just need to take off the intake swap it over with this very very simple install to be honest uh, so it's basically just removing your standard intake putting a new gas gasket on putting the ITB kit on it's already synchronized when you buy it <laughs> only thing you have to do is uh, it's a synchronized vacuum and that's uh, I'm gonna show you that in the video now so um, like I said that's pretty important for a good good performing ITB engine so one thing I forgot to mention and that's when you remove your standard intake manifold and especially your standard throttle body you will get rid of your idle control valve so um, this kit doesn't come with idle control valve and there's definitely a way to do it on ITB setup I'm working on it and it's going to be available on the website soon but basically what you want is a idle control valve hooked up to your vacuum block which can just open and close like it normally would and bypass air into your four runners through the vacuum lines to bypass the throttle bodies to get some extra air into the engine when it's when it needs to idle uh, a bit higher so yeah that's one thing to keep in mind um, so yeah let's continue and synchronize the throttle bodies so here is what your setup is going to look like when you're uh, when you installed your throttle bodies and when you're ready for synchronizing them so this is what my setup looks like just remove the velocity stacks and the air filters for the for demonstration but uh, this is basically what my setup looks like so this is just the four throttle bodies with uh, with my billet adapter here's the fuel rail bracket so this is 1.6 um, so this is the, the fuel rail bracket that you need to install when you install the kit and this is a vacuum lock that doesn't come with the kit but they are available separate on my website uh, so the only thing that is hooked up to that is the brake booster this big black line those four lines the white lines are going to each runner and this line is going to the fuel pressure regulator like it put on a normal setup on a stock setup so this engine is already tuned to uh, to this setup and so it's gonna be easier to start so on the first time on your first uh, on your first startup you're gonna need to uh, do some fuel adjustments also and uh, in the beginning you just have to make sure you you're gonna be able to start it you might need some throttle to uh, keep it idling so as soon as you get it started might be helpful if you have a other person helping you so the other guy can just open the idle screws bit by bit maybe half a turn or one turn every time on every throttle body so until it idles so as soon as it idles you want to make sure the fuel is decent 
so around 40.7 14.7 and as um, soon as it's idling fine and it's time to hook up the uh, the throttle throttle body synchronizer I'm going to show you that now so I'm using this uh, Motion Pro Sync Pro it's a carburetor or a throttle body synchronizer and uh, this is actually a really handy tool you got some pretty basic tools for this as well uh, but this is uh, this is a tool with liquid inside so you can actually see these these pipes and they were filled with liquid you adjust the vacuum line on top and you can actually see how much vacuum is pulling by by looking at the uh, the liquid so you can basically see how, how far it's pulling up uh, so that's a really nice tool it's a bit more expensive than the simple tools you got some very simple tools that just slide inside the velocity stack and will show you a number of how much uh, vacuum it's pulling and we'll just use it on every other body but I like to use this it's, it's very precise so uh, we're gonna use this one as well and I'm gonna show you how it's how it's done with this so things that we will need are those idle screws it's gonna have to be running so it has to idle pretty well then we will need these four uh, vacuum lines so these will hook up to the tool so I'm gonna set it all up and then I will show you uh, how it's done and this is one reason why I really like these quick release connectors because I can just simply push in on this blue part and then it simply pull out the hose so that's a nice feature not not really necessary but it's nice so it's looking kind of messy with all these lines going here but I got the the carb sync creator hanging on the on the hood and then I got the, all these lines connected to the vacuum lines over there these brass fittings they come with the with the synchronizer so the first cylinder is this one second third four and that's basically how it's uh, how it's connected so it's pretty important that these lines are equal because this is what you're going to be looking at when you uh, synchronize the throttle bodies so it's pretty important that this is equal so um, we're ready to start the engine uh, as I said this engine is already synchronized and already tuned so it's going to be an easier start but it's just for demonstration and then I uh, I'm actually gonna gonna adjust the throttle bodies to make it worse so I can show you what it sounds like and how to uh, how to get it right so let's go ahead and uh, and start on it so there we go engine is idling and this is what it looks like at the moment As you can see it's adjusted pretty well it's pretty equal it's fluctuating a bit but it's always doing that so as you can see the second and the Port are a bit uh, a bit higher so it's actually pulling more vacuum so if you open it up if you open it up it's gonna pull less vacuum but it's gonna idle higher so as you can see now it's now it's very equal so now the idle might be pretty high so you can just close them all a bit that's how you adjust the idle to make it idle slower as you can see it's still uh, pretty equal on the last one open it up a bit more there we go so, so when you're starting your engine it might be completely out of whack so for instance this one closed that one open Might be looking like that. And it's definitely gonna hurt performance. As you can see, I ain't not too bad actually, but this can make a huge difference on uh, on performance. So we're gonna make it all equal again. In there. Getting closer. But this one needs a little less. 
bit more. A little less. First one a little less. Too much on the first one. So it's actually pretty satisfying, pretty easy. There we go. Adjust it. So a quick tip, you don't want to rev it too hard with these liquid synchronizers. So because it's going to cause air bubbles and it's going to make you start over again so so I'm going to get rid of these air bubbles and then uh, check it one more time and then it should be fine so that's basically all there is to it so uh, it's not that hard it's pretty easy actually you just need the, the right tool and uh, it's definitely gonna make a huge difference on idle performance and performance overall. Total response. Yeah, that's all there is to it. You can connect your vacuum lines back to your vacuum block and you can put the velocity stacks on and the air filters and happy days. That's it. Thanks for watching guys and good luck with adjusting your throttle bodies.